Welcome to third of December's Godly Blessing, the three lines of fortune. We generally say that on a forehead. We generally find that if you have three lines of fortune, then those fortunate lines guide your destiny. Now God says that those three lines are the past, the present and the future. So God says that if you are following my guidance on a daily basis, then your past is beautiful present is beautiful and your future is also beautiful and there's success in everything that you do so let's go and understand what exactly does he have to say here God says may you be fortunate and make line of fortune most elevated by having remembrance and doing service so these lines of fortune can be made fortunate or we can become fortunate by having remembrance because the soul resides over here so fortune is created by the soul, each of us. And second thing is, after remembrance comes, doing service. That means you serve other souls and help them get connected to the Supreme Creator so that their lines of fortune become elevated and they give you blessings. So your line of fortune is elevated because of other people's blessings. Now God says all three aspects of time, that is past, present, future, are the best of all in the horoscope of Brahmins. Brahmins are those souls who are following and meditating on God and understand the complete cycle. That means they understand when did this complete act on or drama on earth start and when it is going to restart or end. God says whatever happened was good, whatever is happening is good and whatever is going to happen will be the best of all. The line of elevated fortune is drawn on each one's forehead. But you now simply have to stay busy having remembrance and doing service. So when we remember God, we are spreading the vibrations of love and happiness and peace, peace and bliss. And also we are getting accustomed to Him having working on us or work on us. To remove our sins of our previous birth. Now that's the highest elevated fortune that any human being can achieve. That means you sit in yoga or yoga or remembrance of God and your past karmas are all washed away. One by one. And that's the elevated fortune. Automatically your lines of worry reduce. God then says... Let both of, both of these be as natural as you naturally breathe. That means remembering God should be a natural act. And also second thing is to do service. The father, the bestower of fortune, has shown you such a method of having remembrance and doing service that you can make your fortune as elevated as you want. Now two things First, remembrance. Now, remembrance in silence. Now, that is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. It's not about playing any instrument. It's not about playing any form of any form of music. But it's all about being in silence, going away from the attractions of the five senses. That is known as Raj Yoga meditation. That means you don't need to see anything beautiful. You don't need to hear anything beautiful. You don't need to chant anything, and you can be in connection with the Supreme Creator in silence because God is residing in a world of silence in the first loka or the first world and we are in the third world so there are three tiers over here so in the first tier to, re to reach over there one has to feel bodiless think bodiless without using any of your five senses that is a beautiful act which we learn and it's an act of Raj Yoga or a simple remembrance which you too can learn at Prama Kumaris and also make your lines of fortune elevated. With this, Om Shanti.